Here's another example calculation question involving these quantities. Remember the square can be used as a guide to help you come up with a plan to solve problems involving these quantities. Here's a simpler version we can use. We're given that the pOH of a solution of HCl is 11.819 and we're asked to find the concentration of HCl. We can identify HCl as a strong acid, so the concentration of HCl is the same as the concentration of hydronium, which we'll make a note of here. So in this problem, we're given the pOH and we need to find the hydronium ion concentration. The easiest plan here is to start by converting pOH to pH and then converting pH to hydronium ion concentration. So the plan we can use is pOH to pH to hydronium ion concentration. Here's the problem again, along with the plan we came up with. We're given the pOH, so the first step is to convert pOH to pH. We use the formula pH is equal to 14 minus the pOH, which is 14 minus 11.819, which comes out to a pH of 2.181. The second step is to convert pH to hydrochloric acid or hydronium ion concentration. Because HCl is a strong acid, the concentration of HCl is the same as the hydronium ion concentration. We know the pH, so the formula we use to find hydronium ion concentration is the concentration of H3O plus is 10 to the negative pH, which is 10 to the negative 2.181, which comes out to 0 0.00659 molar. This has three significant figures because the given pOH was expressed to three decimal places. So the final answer is the concentration of HCl is equal to 0 0.00659 molar or in scientific notation, 6.59 times 10 to the negative 3 molar.